<clears throat> okay. Hi. How Hi. you doing? <laughs> well, I'm doing a little prep work here. I'm going to uh, feel some of these beats, and uh, uh, we're, gonna, we're in a little bit of a rush today. Uh, we're going to try to get the soup together in about what 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. And uh, then we got. <clears throat> I think it's even less than that today. Um, we normally like at least 20 minutes uh, time for prep. While he's peeling the uh, veg, the hard vegetables there, let me show you. Sometimes you get spinach and you think, oh, I'm going to have spinach salad. But we get it in the box at the discount store. And often at the end of the two weeks, you go, oh, my goodness, it's just not what I, it's just not quite there. Be sure it doesn't smell bad, but you can open your box. And throw spinach uh, greens are wonderful to put inside the soup. This is the baby leaf spinach. You see how the size of those leaves? And so they'll cook wonderful. They're tender and they're good. And nothing is slimy in here. If it's slimy, don't use it. But it's just a, I don't think we're going to eat that much spinach in the next two days because Ron's going to a conference. So uh, throw it in your soup. It's a good time to use things that you say, you know what, we're not going to be able to use. I'm, I'm going to come over here for a minute and show you what else. The next thing we're going to be putting in Canned stewed tomatoes. Now in the summer I use my own tomatoes, but if you don't have those, you can use canned tomatoes anytime. I do all winter. Kernel corn, if you like a little bit of, um, uh, you know, that type of a thing. I, I love color. I love red and yellow and green. And then we've got the tomato paste, and of course we want the purple. Now this is the onions. They're looking good. They're turning yellow. I mean, and it doesn't ruin your pan. I have to have this um, wonderfully big pan, but I've used smaller pans. I've used ugly pans, but so this one happens to be a nice pan with a clear glass. Pan. Well, it looks like Ron, you've just finished uh, peeling and actually uh, got got the cutting. Little, where's our? Well, this is getting pretty full here. Yeah. Okay. You know. Well, uh, what this is a. Uh, uh, what it turns white is the parsnip. The parsley's in there. I put them into the hot pot on top of the onion, and. Uh, Let's see, I've got to get more water. I usually keep my tea kettle full. Ron has uh, taken over to the uh, chopping block, which is a better place to do it. I was just trying to be in the light so you could see. Uh, what is this? This is the turnip. These are the turnips. Turnips are white. Hmm? Yeah, I thought they uh, looked like they're a little yellow to me. Yeah. Well, they're a little bit yellow, but look, compared to a, compared to a rutabaga, see, this is a rutabaga. That's really a yellow, a yellow color. The red is from the beet. The rutabaga is more yellow. The parsnip is really white. Here's the difference in the colors. See, this is the parsnip, the uh, root, uh, turnip, and the rutabaga. Now, rutabaga, all these things, if you look them up, have really high nutritional value. And they're things we don't usually uh, eat. How about this? Well, yeah, I about think, right? you know what? It's, well, there's one great big one we don't want to do. But you can do it quickly. Okay, let's dump in all the other canvas. Oh, there was some, one other thing I wanted to show you, huh? Well, well, we've got these. Oh, these these are some scallions or little onions. You got to pull off. You got to pull off the bad, the bad. Uh, you pull off the bad stuff. And we're gonna chop. Those were some salad onions that were kind of going bad. You know how the ends get bad. Wait, just pull pull off the. See what I do is I take take and pull it down. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you don't want to throw away the whole onion. That's a good. That's a good part. I've already done that. Okay, good. No, no. Okay. Yeah. What's good for you, good for me. <laughs> okay. That just gives a little flavor, a little, so, uh, oh, a little some kind of flavor. Okay. Do hey, you want to dump here? those um, uh, canned things in here? Okay. Oh. There's the rest of the uh, hard so root, root, we can root vegetables. Oh, no, we Okay. Now that's your corn. Juice and all, because that's what's going to make it nice. That's right, everything. What's it we got here? Stewed that's the tomatoes. Stewed I like stewed because it's got a few little uh, green peppers or what have you in there anyway. Okay, I'm going to rinse these cans out because we... Uh, green beans. Maybe you have frozen things in your... That's a very good thing. When you've got vegetables in the freezer that are frozen, before they get that freezer burn, you don't want them with the freezer burn taste. So be thinking about, well, you know what? We've eaten half that bag of... Uh, green beans, but I've got more. Make a soup. Just throw it in there. And the, the fire is still on relatively low, if you see that. So uh, Rob's going to now fill these up with water and dump those in. And let's see, what do we have over here? Oh, I was going to show you the, the uh, vegetables. I came in, when we came in, I washed these. This is the, this is the Swiss chard we talked about. And this is the um, kale. So I'm going to chop that up very roughly, 
I rinsed the cans out because we uh, put them in the recycle bin too. Yeah, that's right. We recycled cans. So we use the, let's just add a little bit. Now we always wash the tops of our cans. I hope you do too. There's, uh, I doubt that there's that many rats running across the lids, but I know they talk about that in the, some reports that you should wash the tops of the lids of your, um, here, this work, This is what I use. That's pretty clean. That's it. Okay. Um, okay. So, that's, uh, okay. Does that look tasty? In the bin. There he goes. Okay. I'm going to take this and do this in here. And you can see how this is going. You need to turn it up a little bit. And now the seasoning that you want to put, probably just a little salt and pepper at this point. But doesn't that look good? It looks like a stew. So we're going to fill this up with water to about, to about here. And just let it cook. And those flavors will blend. And oh, wait till you taste it. Uh, one of my favorite things to do. I think. Uh, one of my favorite, yeah. Oh, okay. One of my favorite things to do is to put Parmesan cheese. I get Parmesan cheese from the deli, or you can use the one in the. That's can. after it's cooked, that's right? After it's cooked. Yeah. When you serve it, you get a nice hot bowl. Mm. We put it in the microwave, heat it up, and you okay. like that, right? And then sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese, and it sort of melts, and it's wonderful. Mm. You even like without the Parmesan, right? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put the other things in. Okay. And we'll let's check uh, what else are you going to throw in there? We're going to put a little more water in there, I think. There yeah, are. we're going to put water, but we can we can come back and okay. let me show you how to do with the spinach. This is how the spinach is all pre-washed. Now, probably putting the spinach in at the very last is good, but you want to do this all at one time and put it in a crock pot. That's for those of you that work outside the home. Put your crock pot on. Put the same thing in the vegetables, but at that point, you want to use a half a head of cabbage. And, and less than everything. So you just fill it. You'll get to know what that is. Throw in everything. But main thing is make it a variety, make it lots of color, and make it no calorie. In fact, some of these things are zero calorie because of the fiber. You'll actually lose weight from eating the more, the more you eat, the more you eat. For about two hours. Now look at that. Oh, see how the vegetables have broken down so that now they're nice and tender. There's still a lot of body to them. See how the greens have gotten? They've turned dark green. What do you think about that? Do you like soup at all? No, you don't. You might like this later. Look, at there's carrots, and there's corn, and beans, and all kinds of good things. Now, Ron and I, if he were home right now, which he's not. I like put tomatoes in there. Well, you know what? There are tomatoes in there. Look at here. Let me show you. See the tomatoes? <laughs> what else do you think we should have put in there? Like, uh, carrots. Oh, well, you know what? Look at this. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> and then, uh, now, here's, here's the parsnip. I mean, no, that's the rutabaga. See, the rutabaga still stays yellow. And what? the peas. Peas? Beans? Okay, let's find those beans. Ah, here they are. Here's beans. See, all of them are getting nice and tender. Now, all I, I haven't opened it since you last saw it, and I've left it for, it's almost two now, and we left at 